<sighs> it's another day another dog better weather everything's melting welcome to the man cave Hi there. Deke and I just got something else in. Okay, so what do we got here is uh, 2017 rally gear. Um, I ordered from uh, Motorsport, which includes a rally jacket. Extra large. Um, has a ring. If I need to connect Deacon up to myself, I can. Uh, it's got a liner. My biggest question is how much does this thing weigh? And then I also have the matching KTM pants. Size 38. And I'd been complaining, you know, that my Badlands gear is uh, way too heavy. So this is a Badlands jacket. It's size large. And uh, let me go to reset my scale here. And the um, put this in the here, so it weighs. seven pounds and the pants weigh four and a half pounds okay so um, so I thought I'd try the new 2017 rally um, wear and see what it weighs. The jacket, keep in mind the Badlands was seven pounds. So this is five pounds. That's two pounds lighter on my back. Um, and the pants weighs three pounds. Three and a half pounds. I have an enduro jacket. Hold on. Oh, if I wanted to add more armor, let's just wear these things. Here's a kidney belt and um and protection. This is a Thor thing. That guy weighs three and a half pounds. My knee pads. That weighs two pounds. Some uh, climb KTM color enduro pants with a wide boot bottom, no knee protection. It weighs three pounds, so that's about the same as this new KTM gear. And then um, my first KTM jacket is this uh, KTM enduro. Um, jacket that I had sewed on a D-ring um, and um, let's see what it weighs it is not waterproof and it weighs four three and a half pounds okay um,
let's see as far as the gear I wear I think that's about all well there's some more this was a KTM this was an in boot jacket um, by Thor but I'm not gonna weigh that but one thing I did get let me go way over here let's see what this thing this was a jacket that I got at uh, um, in uh, it's a triumph adventure jacket I won this up at the Lawrence Hacking's Overland Adventure Rally in um, Toronto Canada let's see what it weighs so it weighs five pounds one thing I'm only concerned about with this KTM pants is that is the knee protection. Because to me, that's when I go down, it's normally I just kind of fall over on my knee. Is it really that much heavier? Let's go back and look at the the Badlands pants. Okay, so it weighs um, five pounds. If I take these new KTM pants that appear not to have any knee protection, put that in there, it weighs three and a half pounds, but if I grab my knee pads, it's now five and a half pounds. But the knee pads, these things really aren't very comfortable on long trips. Because it does have some protection, that's good. But these guys, I don't know, where's the... I'll have to look and see if it, I mean, there's no hip protection. Well, no, there is. There's a, there's thin protection on it. There's that same, looks like it's about a quarter inch thin pad here. A quarter inch thin pad on this hip. But nothing on the knee. It does have, though, uh, leather um, on the inside, and it's all Gore-Tex, so it should be waterproof. I mean, there's this inner liner even, it's got, see that little plastic liner? Um, I don't know. I think if... If I'm doing a lot of highway miles in North America and it's going to get cold and snowy, I've already proven this thing out in the wet. Um, that uh, did a really good job of keeping me dry. And I actually rode it down to Baja too. Um, and I did a pretty good, pretty, pretty good job doing that. Oh, so because the uh, this jacket didn't have a kidney belt I bought a, um, a fox kidney belt to put on it just to put on before I put the jacket on 